let us recall the concept of a set. A set is a collection of well-defined and distinct objects or numbers. These objects are randomly arranged. Some are animals, some are food, and some are furniture. If we place each object into its own group, we end up with three sets of objects. Each object of a set is also called an element or member. So how do we express a set? One way is to use the descriptive form. In this method, a set is described in a simple sentence which indicates all the elements contained in it. For instance, consider this set of numbers labeled A. Observe that these are all even numbers since they are divisible by 2. However, only the first four positive even numbers are shown. We will then express this group of numbers as A equals set of first four positive even numbers. An important thing to note here is that we cannot describe this group of numbers as a set of even numbers. The set of all even numbers contains infinitely many numbers like negative 2, 0, 2 and so on. On the other hand, the set of the first four positive even numbers only includes 2, 4, 6 and 8. Therefore, when describing sets, we must be both accurate and precise. The second way to express a set is called the tabular form or roster form. In this form, all the elements of a set are listed in braces. All individual elements are separated by commas. So, set A in tabular notation is equal to open brace 2, comma 4, comma 6, comma 8 and close brace. Finally, we look at the set builder notation. In this form, all the elements of a set are expressed by an alphabet showing all the properties of elements of that set. For instance, A can be expressed like this. This is read as the set A consists of the elements of types x, such that x belongs to the set of even numbers, and x is between 2 and 8, both inclusive. When using the set builder notation, it is helpful to know about a few important sets. Here, n is the set of natural numbers, w is the set of whole numbers. Z is the set of integers. P is the set of prime numbers. E is the set of even numbers. And O is the set of odd numbers. Now that we've seen all the methods, take a minute to determine how this set of numbers can be expressed in all three forms. Let us now review the problem we will name the set B. In the descriptive form, we can simply state that B is the set of natural numbers between 2 and 10. Similarly, we can also write that B is the set of natural numbers greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 9. In the tabular form, B equals 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, all of which are separated by commas and listed between braces. The set builder form will be expressed as b equals x, such that x belongs to the set of natural numbers, and x is greater than or equal to 3, and less than or equal to 9. It can also be expressed as b equals x, such that x belongs to the set of natural numbers between 2 and 10. Besides natural numbers, 
the given numbers also belong to the set of whole numbers and the set of integers. Therefore, in the set builder notation, we can replace n with either w or z. All three notations are correct. Similarly, in the descriptive form, we can replace natural numbers with whole numbers or integers. This example tells us that the descriptive and set builder notations are not necessarily unique. To summarize, sets can be expressed in three different ways. In the descriptive form, a set is defined in a sentence that indicates the elements belonging to the set. The tabular or roster form lists all the distinct elements of a set in braces. The set builder notation expresses a set with an alphabet showing all the properties of elements of the set.